Well, I really don't know how to describe my low, my high, my acts of kindness today. Well, I mean, I can. In fact, honestly, the only difficult thing we have to talk about is my low, because technically, nothing bad happened yesterday. However, it was always yesterday around this time of year, I really would feel the most depressed. But I'll get to that in a minute. My high and my acts of kindness are pretty simple. I got to spend time with my mom and my dad. And uh, in terms of acts of kindness, I DMT, I emptied the dehumidifier for my father. I um, took out the garbage, because today's gonna be garbage day. And uh, they got home late from doing their thing, so made them dinner. So, uh, did a few good things for them. But now let's get on to today. Because, before I continue this, let me say, I know that for a lot of people, this already happened. For many people, it happened yesterday. However, growing up, the first day of school was always the, the first Wednesday after Labor Day. Today. So that's why, you know, I'm doing this video today. And keep in mind, I've been doing this video every year for the last couple of years now. And I always think of like different ways of how to say things or think of things that I didn't say the year before or, you know, maybe I think to say something I didn't say in previous years. But the general meaning is the same because this is essentially my back to school slash first day of school address. And growing up today would be my first day of school. Seriously, every single year, I always started school on Wednesday. The only times I didn't start school on Wednesday were when I was at both Trinity Pauling and at Gettysburg College. Like classes started like that Monday in August. So actually in college they started in August. In uh, at Trinity Pauling, it was September 8th? Yeah, it was September 8th. It was a Monday when um, I started uh, class. So definitely a bit of a transition, but the first day of school is always the same. You know, it's a brand new year. For many people, you're probably going to a brand new place to you know, get your schooling done, get your education. And with a brand new place comes brand new people. Specifically the teachers you probably have. Or if you're going from, say, a small elementary school to, you know, a bigger intermediate school, you know, lots of new students and classmates to have too. And it's a big transition. It is. I can't say, I could never be able to, there is no way I couldn't mention how every single year on the first day, my heart would be racing. I was that nervous about going back. That's how much I didn't like going back to school. I don't think I ever told you guys this story. But the, the first time I ever realized how much I didn't like school was quite literally my first day of kindergarten. I'm not kidding. Because I remember, like, thinking, okay, we've been here for a while now. Can we go home? And the day just would not end. And what's worse, I had to do that tomorrow. And then I had to do that the next day. And speaking of tomorrow, um, I'm sure that some people, I know some people start school tomorrow. And I mentioned earlier how some people probably have their first day of school even way back, even back as far as August. But 
and actually, I'm sure because of that, you probably don't even need to see this video. But I implore you to stick around because some of the things I say in this video apply to any point during the school year. So whether you start school in August or you start school even today, there are some things I say in this video that most definitely apply to any point during the year. So stick around and you might learn something. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. Right, so first day in kindergarten, longest day ever. And I had to do that again. And then I had to do that again. And then it was Saturday, which thank God. Man, I tell you what, I hated going to school. And as soon as summer, as soon as summer began, I was like, I never have to go to school again. Only then I had to start first grade. But actually, if I were to talk about my experience, like kindergarten, I really did not have a very good teacher. No offense, but this really was back in the time where like the teacher couldn't hit the kids, but if she like grabbed your arm really hard, it was your fault if it hurt you, if that makes sense. Again, I did not have a very good teacher in kindergarten. Little would I know that next year in first grade, I would have the GOAT of St. Mary our Mother, the greatest teacher of all time. Man, it's not even up for debate. Actually, first, second, and third grade, I could genuinely tell you that, yeah, I'd have that first day of school heart racing. You know, like my heart is like beating like a, like a mile a minute. You know, just being like, like scared of what was going to happen, stuff like that. But after the first day, I never really got that. It was fourth grade, though. That's when, like, I mentioned the whole, like, my heart racing on the first day of school. That happened so many times in fourth grade. That by the time I got to fifth and sixth grade on the first day of school, I would just start crying. And then there was middle school. My first day in middle school, I'll never forget. I mentioned this a couple days ago. Where it was like 5, 5.30 in the morning. It was time for me to go to school. I just woke up crying. And then my dad walks up to me. He's like, Nick, you're a man. Go to school. And I went to school. Although, in my defense... My first day in middle school, that was the first time I went from, like, I was no longer going to St. Mary or Mother. I went to Hortez Middle School after, um, after I graduated from, six, from sixth grade. I was going to a big, brand new, big new school. And, again, the transition, it can, it can be scary. I mean, the one thing I wish I could tell myself then that I know now is, you're not alone. I am more than willing to bet that quite literally every single new 7th grader that year who went to Horsehead's Middle School with me was feeling exactly the way I was. Probably even worse. Okay, maybe not worse. I don't think they'd be actually crying per se. But, again, those feelings are all cut from the same cloth. The first day of school is always scary in a lot of ways. Because, yeah, I mean, you're in school. What can be safe? I was never worried about getting hurt. I was more worried about, you know, how hard would the work be? You know, who am I going to have to run into throughout the course of the day? And if it's someone I don't know, are they good or are they bad? Or, you know, as I got older and I had to walk from room to room for a different class... Like, how far would the walk be? You'd have to worry about getting late and stuff like that. Again, there was actually a lot to take in. And, I mean, luckily, we're in a day and age now where, yeah, it's still a lot to take in, but teachers are pretty forgiving those first couple of days. Like, they actually give you some time to breathe a little bit. You know, before you just go right in and you know, do whatever it is you got to do. And that's nice. 
And, um, well, a thought occurred to me that maybe I should also share, you know, middle school life, middle school and high school life for me. But personally, I'll uh, save that part for December. But one thing I definitely, definitely need to stress on is, listen, there, there is, to, to any and all students out there watching this, for sure there is going to be a certain point of the year where there is something that you're not necessarily struggling with, but you definitely need help. And if you ever do need help, or if you're feeling uncomfortable in any way, or you need advice, or even if you're feeling down and you just want to talk to someone just for the sake of having a good conversation, please, please, please go talk to your teachers, okay? I'll tell you why, for two reasons. One, every single adult you've ever met in your entire life was a kid at some point. They are going through the exact same stuff you're going through right now. And no, I'm, and no, that's not a segue into stuff like puberty either. You know, I can tell you for, I mean, I'm 33 years old. I can tell you, I hated going back to school on the first day. I was always a nervous wreck on the first day of school. Even back in, by the time I was in high school and I was doing sports and I was involved with my school even more than I am now, I still hated that, well, even more than I did when I was, Kid, I mean, I still hate going back to school. And like, by the time I was a senior, I was a three sport varsity athlete. You know, I was very much involved with my school life. I mean, and yeah, it helped, it helped ease the transition from summer life into school life easier. But I still hated going back. But one thing I always saw a lot of was I wasn't the only one like this. A bunch of my own classmates were, were thinking exactly like I was. And the one thing I always saw that seemed to make them and me and everyone else feel better, talk to your teachers. Because again, every single adult I've ever known was a kid at some point. They went through the exact same stuff I did. And I'm telling you, young people out there, Every adult you have met and ever will meet was a kid at some point just like you. And they are going through the exact same, and they went through the exact same stuff you're going through right now also. If you need any help, advice, you get lost, or if you just want someone to talk to, go talk to your teachers, okay? Reason number one. Reason number two. That is their job, okay? Listen, and I'm gonna to touch upon this more in December, but every single teacher you've ever met at some point in their lives came to the conclusion that their means of what they wanna do when they grow up was become a teacher. Some people were little kids when they figured out they wanted to become teachers. Some people are full-grown adults before they realize that teaching might be their true calling. But no matter what, every single teacher you've ever met and ever will meet had to go through the entire same process as any other teacher. They need to spend X number of years going to college, getting the proper education and degrees and certifications or whatever it is they have to do. You know, they spend hours and hours and hours coming up with student teaching plans, doing whatever it is that they have to do, figuring out what school supplies that students need for that first day, all of that. All for the sake of the fact that they love doing all of it. 
They love being teachers. They, listen, I am friends with a whole bunch of teachers, okay? Some friends, I'm te some friends I have are teachers that I had when I was a kid. And if I were to walk up to them right now, and if I were to ask them on a scale of one to 10, how happy are they when a student asks them for help or just simply wants to talk to them? It'd be a 10. So please, if you ever need advice, don't ever be afraid to ask a teacher for help. They live for that. That's their job. I can tell you for a fact that some of the most meaningful and you know, thoughtful conversations I ever had with anyone were with some of the teachers that I had. You know, whether it was in college or at Trinity Pauling or at Horseheads or even as far back as, say, elementary school. I mean, Grand, the one thing I would have done differently is I'd be a little more thankful for that teacher's time. I was a dumb kid. I didn't know any better. So, again, if you're nervous, so students out there, whether you're already in school right now or whether today's your first day or yesterday was your first day or even tomorrow's your first day, if you feel in any way down or sad or nervous or you need someone to talk to, it may not even necessarily be for help either. I've had plenty of conversations with teachers and I didn't need to ask them for help. I just wanted to, you know what? There was lots of times I just said hi to them. Seriously, teachers love it when students talk to them. They live for that stuff. A simple hi totally makes their day. Or a simple hi, a simple hello or a greeting of some kind. That totally makes their day. Even if it's only for like five seconds. That's a lot more than, in fact, it's actually four seconds more than the teacher would need. Okay? They love doing that stuff. They love it. And so I implore you, like, well, it's pretty obvious, please support your educators. You know, there's a reason why I'm, like, you know what? My, the educators that I had, the teachers that I had, they're the reason why I'm not a complete idiot, okay? I can, well, there's lots of reasons why I'm not a complete idiot, but let's focus on the main thing right now. And that is, you know, that is going to school. And yeah, I know, some things are scary. You know, sometimes the schoolwork is hard. Sometimes, you know, you can't help but be late to a class here and there. I would say, Try and work on that. Like, seriously, don't ever be late to class, kids. I made it my I made it my daily job to never be late for class. And trust me, it makes all the difference. Because students don't like that, teachers don't like that. Don't be that guy who's always late to class. Or don't be that girl who's always late to class. And if things are hard, you know, it's a perfect excuse to try and practice time management. You know, focus on getting your school, focus on getting your homework done the instant you get it. Sure, there are plenty, seriously, there are plenty of times I worked on homework, like the instant I got it while I was in school, because I didn't want to have to work on it at home. Not to mention, like, if you really are that nervous, just try going to bed early, guys. It's as simple as that. You know, don't spend an hour watching a funny movie. You know, don't spend, you know, doing, don't spend like another hour listening to good music. Like, when you know it's time to go to bed, go to bed. When, I actually developed this habit when I was a journey calling. I was in bed no later than 10, every single night. Even on weekends. Well, okay, some weekends, I was, it was after 10, but I can barely think of any time during the week I wasn't in bed by 10. 
that's how dedicated I was to that. So, it's pretty obvious throughout the week, be sure to eat right, sleep well, get your eight hours in. But I cannot stress enough. If you need help with anything, go to your teachers for help. They love it when they, they love it when they're asked for help. They love it when they talk to their students, even if it's for a quick hello. And believe me, there are friends I have who are friends with their teachers to this very day. There are some friends that I have that are teachers that I'm friends with to this very day. And you better believe I look fondly on all those good memories. And I want to emphasize that I do look fondly on some of that because come mid-December, it's going to get pretty emotional. But we'll get to that when we get to that. I hope you like this video. For those of you who have the first day of school today, I hope you have a wonderful first day. If yesterday was your first day of school, I hope, you, I hope your first day of school was wonderful. If tomorrow is your first day of school, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll be sure to say that tomorrow, as I always do. If you're one of those students that started school way back in August, I hope you learned something from this. And um, as per usual, I am very humble. I made this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I forgot to say happy hump day. Actually, hump day really wasn't a thing until after I got out of school. Everybody goes about talking to me. I'm here to lend you the right back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.